<laughs> You've let that get cold. Yeah, oh, no, I'm sorry. Try and eat something, Phil. No, I can't. Did you sleep last night? I thought you did. You can't sleep, you can't eat, you won't talk to me. All right, so I'm moody. Was that a crime or something? Have I got to sign up a ten years' worth of psychotherapy or something? I'll go now, all right? Get out of your way. Something you said, or did he not like the food? Did you want something? Oh, you made me forget. <laughs> well, I mean, the dramas, they're so much more interesting, aren't they? Oh, I know, yeah. It's a tea and uh, two slices of toast. Take away, people. Kef, two bacon and eggs, two teas, two slices when you're ready. So, the course of true love uh, not running smoothly, then, is that it? What? You and the boyfriend, things not going well. Am I right? Don't anyone ever tell you to mind your own business? <laughs> Frequently. Yeah, well, why don't you? What's that? Something just came back to me from last night. Oh, yeah. I'll keep remembering little bits and pieces. Maybe it never happened. Maybe I dreamt it. I'll keep it a minute. Oh, come on, give us a smile, love. Oh, I don't know, that boyfriend of yours obviously ain't doing you much good, is he? Your change. I remember what it takes to put a smile on your face. You what? Still, you probably feel safer with some prat like you with. What you need's a real man. Do you know what, they're growing up so fast, I can hardly believe it. One of these days, I'm gonna come home from work and they'll be sat there totally growing up. And they've got such different personalities as well, right? Little Peter, he'll give in more easily than Lucy. I mean, she'll just sit there screaming until she gets her own way. Cindy reckons she's more like me. What do you think? I don't know. Well, you must have an opinion, Mum. You've seen them as much as anybody. My mind's elsewhere just at the moment, Ian. Yeah, I thought as much. What is it? You got a problem? Look, if it's money, Mum, you've only got to ask. I just wish it was. It's Phil, isn't it? Look, tell me if I'm being out of order, but... Well, I'd already bitten the bottle a bit. It's nothing to do with Phil. No? No. What's up, then? It's Richard. Not him again. What's he done this time? It just upset me, that's all. Maybe I'm being silly, but... Well, he, he really knows how to get to me. Yeah, he's good at sticking a knife in me. There's something you ain't telling me, boy, is it? No, you're the best brother a bloke could ever have, do you know that? No, I ever tell you that. You're the best. I'm worried about you. No, I didn't even buy you a birthday present. I'm ashamed. What's the matter with me? I'm ashamed. I'm like, I don't care about birthdays and all that rubbish. I don't need another bottle of aftershave. No, the aftershave. It's definitely not the aftershave that's the problem. No, I didn't think so. So what is it? What's going on? You tell me. Look, it hurts to think you can't talk to us. I've got nothing to talk about. Why don't you trust us? <laughs> Leave off, will you? What's going on? Phil's celebrating my birthday. All on his own? I'm like that sometimes. What do you mean? I like doing things. All on my own. I like getting drunk. See, I'm not like that. I prefer a bit of company. Phil, this is getting beyond a joke. That's because it ain't a joke. You're saying something really is wrong? Yeah. Congratulations, Kev. You got more out of him in ten seconds than I managed in two hours. You are the best brother bloke ever. Do you know that? Did I ever tell you that? The best. I love that man now. I love him. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. What's that supposed to mean, eh? Behave, bruv. You think I'm a problem, don't you? That's what you think of me, isn't it? I'm beginning to think you have a problem, yeah. Oh, well, you just go and sling your up, right? Can't a man have a few drinks without being handy for it, eh? I'm not handing you. Then what are you doing? I'm then? worried about you. Oh, just go for a while, all right? Grant, what should I do? Search me. Please, please. 
Leave me alone, will you? I can't. I want to know what's wrong. I said, leave me alone, all right? Kath, what's going on? I wish I knew, but it feels being horrible. Why? I don't know. He won't say it. I don't know if I'm supposed to have done something or what. He hasn't been talking to Richard by any chance, has he? Why? He's been bad mouthing you like the place, that's why. Saying what? What about you and him when you were together? He, you know the sort of thing. You know how jealous men can be. Maybe I'd have to go out thin as well. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I've arranged to uh, get the port cabin done up. And how are we going to do that? Do you know your trouble? You're not positive enough. In this game, you've got to be an optimist. Isn't that right, Kath? <laughs> you said that was my dad's trouble. Yeah, well, there's optimism, and there's plain old being out of touch with reality. Yeah, but where's the money coming from? Look, I keep telling you. Just leave the worries about finding the money to someone who understands business, all right? There you go. That's lovely. Cheers. See you later. You did want another tea, didn't you? Yeah. You left me the money, though, couldn't you? Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Tea and, uh, tea and ham sandwich takeaway. Get out, my calf. <laughs> I like it. I love the way you always know how to surprise your customers now. A tea and an ham sandwich, if you don't mind, and I'm in a hurry. Yeah, and I said get out. Have you gone completely mad? What, what am I supposed to have done? I won't deal with someone who goes around spreading lies about me. You kind of cuts down your options for friendship round here, though, I thought. You have been saying hateful things about me to my own son. I mean, what is it with you? Are you sick or something? Now get out and don't come back, all right? All right, all right. You're obviously in one of your moods. I'll come back when you're in a better one, I hope. Out! Yeah. Oh, it gets on my nerves. So I say. I'm sorry, Pat. What can I get you? Uh, could you change that for me, Kathy? Yeah, yeah, of course. You okay? Not really. What's our Mr. Cold to upset you then? He's been saying things to people about him and me. I mean, even to Ian. Oh, he's a wind up merchant. And Phil's been behaving really strange, and. Well, I think Richard's had a go at him too. You know, saying things. You know what sort of things I mean. I don't think Phil can bring himself to tell me. He just keeps going over it and over it again in his head. I'm... Oh, I don't know. You uh, sure of this, Kath? No. Well, it's got to be something to do with that, isn't it? I mean, why else would Phil be acting towards me the way he is? Oh, uh, it's got to be something to do with Richard. All right, Phil? Hey. Yeah, it's all right. You're looking a bit rough. Very probably. He's been drinking for days. I reckon he's going for a new world record. So what? If you don't like it, you know what you can do, don't you? Shall I have a bit of cake, Kate? No, thanks. Yeah, I'll have some, Sharon. Here's the plate. Oh, this looks lovely, Sharon. We should try some. Mmm. Mm. Very nice. Are you going to tell me what's going on between you two? Nothing. You know, I hate it when you lie to me. Mm. Oh, Mum. Yeah, you ought to try some of this cake before one goes. It's really nice. Yeah, I wonder where Sharon got it from. Mm. But is he all right? Mm. Excuse me. Well? What can I say? Excuse me. Can we have some cake too? Sure. I just need to know why. I can't tell you, but this is not you, I promise you. Has somebody said something to you? Has Richard been talking to you? Look, I know he's been going around saying hateful things about me to Ian and Cindy, but has he said something to you and all? Yeah. Yeah, he did as it happens, and it really upset me. Yeah, I knew it. Well, what did he say? Well, don't want to tell you. Is that what all this has been about? Because of what he said to you? Yeah. I'm sorry I took it out on you. Try a log there, please. But why does he want to split us up? Kill him, I really could. Uh, two white wines, two pints of lager, and a large scotch. Who's the scotch for? You? Yeah, why? You don't need that, Phil. No, but I want it. Phil, please. I can't do anything without you having a go at me, can I? Well, I'll tell you what, I've had enough of it, all right? Listen, cancel that, Austin. What are you doing? I ain't buying you lot drinks. You just get on my nerves, all right? Phil, where are you going? I'm going home. You got a problem with that? Right, who's going to pay for this lot, then? Oh, it looks like me, doesn't it? I'm sorry, Ian. Ah, oh, it's all right, Mum. It's not your fault, is it? I just don't know what's going on. Here, I'll have a glass of wine. Come on. Oh, come on, Mum. Don't do that. I'm sorry. I'm going now. What's wrong, Lisa? Oh, why don't you just push off? Oh, that is very nice, that. 
Here are my old sets with a knight in shining armour and you something to push off. Boyfriend breaking your heart, is it? Oh, just leave her alone, will ya? I could have told you it wouldn't work, yeah. Are you and Phil Mitchell? It's a bit like uh, Beauty and the Beast, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, you just tell him to leave me alone, Look, please. you heard what she just said. No, I didn't quite catch it, actually. What did she say? Uh, tell Richard what I need is a real man. Oh, you... What did yeah. you say? Yeah. 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 Mum, mum, mum. What thing? Hey, don't act the innocent. We know you've been spreading dirt about oh, me, Mum. Don't make me laugh. Laugh? You won't be laughing when we do you for slander. Well, why don't I do it for assault instead? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. you're right, yeah. Ian. Oh. oh, he's done it now. Oh, my God. I'm gonna kill him. Ian, look, just forget about it, right? It's not worth it. You watch me. I'm gonna get him for this. <laughs>